Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey and welcome to another house tour. Now this house is one that I created pretty much um, towards the beginning of when I started playing the game. So as you're gonna see when I zoom out here, there is actually um, no landscaping. <laughs> and the reason is I just didn't really play with landscaping at the beginning. I wasn't sure exactly what to do or how to do it. So as we're touring some of these old houses of mine, you are going to see um, and you're also going to see the mistakes. What is that, a mirror just hanging out there? Yeah, let's go ahead and delete that real quick. But yeah, <laughs> you will definitely see my mistakes. Um, but it's still fun because some of these houses really aren't that bad. And maybe one day I could do like a renovation series. Or of course you could just download them and do whatever you want to them. So we will start off with the first floor, and let's see, this house is like super, super modern on the inside. I think I was playing around with like a lot of the, um, uh, the items from like the, what's that expansion pack? The future? Into the future. Into the future. That's what I'm trying to think of. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it's definitely got a lot of modern touches and such, and lots and lots of greenery. So when we first come in here, we have just sort of the entryway and the staircase. Um, we have a little table with a plant as well, and some pretty candles on the wall. That's a horrible angle. Let me go this way. <laughs> Alright, and then next we come over... I might do some aerials in this house because it's so weird. <laughs> um, so next over here we have sort of the dining room area which is quite open. It's a nice like open concept um, first floor. So we have this like really cool blue rug that I'm pretty sure is from Into the Future and just a beautiful modern modern build here. Build here. And then over on this side we have the kitchen. Now you'll see that this home has a lot of blues, grays, and whites throughout it. And um, I guess that was sort of on purpose just to keep it very like clean and modern looking um, but yeah this is the kitchen pretty functional we have um, some like carpet here I think this is actually yeah this is like one of those floor panels that's supposed to be see-through I should probably get out of build mode sorry um, but the reason I put it there I just thought it looks sort of like translucent absolutely obviously you can't actually like see through it through it but yeah that is the kitchen and let's get a few more angles so you can see that as well. All right, now over here, this is the living room. And I'm going to go ahead and put the walls up so that you can see the actual structure here. So in this living room, I also have like those really cool futuristic geometric carpets, a very clean lined, clean colored white couch, well actually two couches, and then we have um, a table here that I actually put two coffee tables together to form a larger one. And then right in the middle we have the um, the pink plant, which I was playing around with, move objects, trying to get it to look like the plant was sort of like in a pot on top of the table, but that didn't quite work, although, I don't know, it's still kind of a cool illusion. I like it. <laughs> and then of course on this wall here we have our nice um, large-ish <laughs> flat screen TV. And then over here in the corner, um, let me see if I could get a good angle. This is actually like in the statue section, I think. It was kind of hard to find, but it's really cool because it's like water, sort of like water. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it is a cool little piece. And then we have the door here from the um, Seasons expansion pack that has like sort of the wave, which I think is super super cool and modern all right so now downstairs we actually have one bedroom and I'm gonna do sort of an aerial view on this and then we'll do our wall cutaway and zoom in a bit better but again this one is just a uh, lots of blues and grays and oh my gosh the angles are horrible but there you go <laughs> it's a very sleek and modern room um, it has a cool dresser here that has very cool lines and it's like the silver metallic color which I love and then they have their own little ensuite bathroom and I think this was like one of the first small tiny bathrooms that I've built um, but it's great because I got to learn really how to place the items so that they all fit and so that they're still functional so we have sort of this like translucent sink over here that sort of looks like it's floating um, a stand-up shower and a toilet and then Let's see, I think there was some wall art in here, but I will have to put the walls back up. Well, you can still see it, but yeah, that looks funny. Let's pull the walls back up for a second. So yeah, tons of wall art in here, just some nice large pieces. And I was playing with a, a little like feature wall type thing. It's just changing the color of the wallpaper on 
one or two panels to make it look like it's a brick exposed wall. And then we have the matching side tables with lamps on the side of the bed. So that is pretty much it for the downstairs. We do have, um, even though I didn't do any landscaping, I did work on some outdoor areas. So we have this grill and a little uh, seating table outside on the back porch, which is nice. And then I use this sort of translucent um, fencing all around. And now I will do um, just an aerial view here so you can get a good idea of what we just looked at. So there is the floor plan. Now we're going to go ahead and move to the upstairs. And this is only a two-story home. I do have a sim hanging out in here. Um, just I brought her here so that I could do the house tour. But real quick, I do want to make sure I turn on all the lights in here. Oops, that's not a light. That was uh, a radio or something. <laughs> so let's turn on all lights. There we go. That's much, much better. <laughs> So when you first come upstairs from this hallway, um, we have a little entry table over here and I was just playing around a lot with like the plants and the greenery and let's get a better view here if I can click on the right thing. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes these angles are a bit hard to get, but there you go. So yeah, this is just a little table down here with some different plants on top. And then these are the shelves that have the backlighting on them. I don't use them very often because they do look very futuristic and modern. And most of my builds are usually pretty classic in style. So I really got to play around with them here. Um, there's some more wall decor and then the cool windows in this house. All right, so then next, off to the side of the hallway, we have a little bathroom. And I think this is a, yeah, this is a shared bathroom between the two bedrooms up here. It's a little bit bigger than the one downstairs, so I was able to squeeze a bit more in here. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> Trying to get a little aerial view. But yeah, it's just a little, cute little bathroom here. Um, there is some greenery on top of the toilet. Let me put these walls up so we can see better. There we go. Some greenery in here, some makeup and clutter on the counter, and the double sinks. And then over on this side, this is sort of just open to both of the bedrooms. Anyone can pretty much go in this area. It's like a, a little communal area for the house. And we have a beautiful fireplace with some books on the side and oh there's a mirror on this wall i think that's why we're having a blocked view you know what that mirror that was hanging out that i deleted must have been this it just got messed up so let's see if i could fix that really quick while we're in here um you know i would probably have to have move objects on so let's just kind of let's just get rid of that for right now it's a little bit annoying and i don't feel like going through the cheats menu right now but yeah, that is the upstairs area. Um, we will go into the bedrooms next, but this is a nice little cozy hangout. Now, I'm going to put the walls up so you can see how you enter this bedroom here. It actually has like a little narrow hallway that leads to the bedroom, which I don't do very often, but I wanted this bathroom to be shared. So that's why I went ahead and did it that way so you could still get in here. And it is a relatively small bedroom, so I did have a hard time designing it. I do remember um, it being just a little bit awkward to get everything in here, but it turned out okay, I think. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these back down. So you could get a pretty clear view of the bedroom. Now, this is very neutral. There's reds and grays, so this could work for a boy's room, a girl's room, a teenager's room, pretty much anybody. And then we have this fun little kitty stereo over here um, and the funky, like, paneled mirror behind the dresser. And then, finally, we are going to go to the kids' bedroom, which is where my sim decided to come hang out. <laughs> Um, we'll go in an aerial view for this one, too, because it's so small. But we basically have the bunk beds. Now, since the first floor was all blues, grays, and whites, I wanted to introduce a little bit of a red color in here, but still keep it looking super clean and modern. So we have the bunk beds. You could put two sims in here, as well as the dresser so that they can go ahead and get ready. Um, there's a stack of books and some clothes and the mirror. And then... This would work great for a kid's or a teen's room because we have these little beanbag chairs where they could hang out and chill and listen to music and have their friends over. And then we also have this fun mirror that has all the stickers on it and, of course, a little computer desk. Now, the um, bedroom over here doesn't have a computer desk, so hopefully whatever sim ends up living in there either has a laptop or just doesn't care about computers too, too much. 
but that is the upstairs and then finally we have the balcony off to the side um, it has like these cool glass double doors that come in or come out to the balcony and then I continued this sort of translucent fencing out here as well we have a bit of greenery we have our easel so we can get some painting done for our sims and then over here is the chess table and then I also put a telescope out here so that um, they can gain more logic skill with the chess table or with the telescope so that is basically it for this home I'll go ahead and show you the floor plan again from the upstairs and of course the download link will be provided in the description below so that you can download the home if you like if you do end up downloading it and fixing it up let me know I'd love to take a look and see what you've done with it but that is it for this house tour. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe so that you can keep in touch with all of my new videos. And I will see you guys next time. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoy some of these tours, just going back and looking at what I've done in the past. And any feedback, of course, is appreciated. But I do think, or at least hope, I've become a little bit better of a builder. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, because some of these, some of these need some work. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.